While the FPUC program officially expired on Monday, Floridians haven't had access since late June. Governor Ron DeSantis withdrew early to push unemployed back into the workforce. That's something plaintiffs continue to say he can't do. The initial lawsuit to restore boosts was announced in late July. Gia Kakaro among the plaintiffs. Taking that $300 away is the exact amount I'm short on my bills every single month. And again, there's nobody hiring me. I'm a 52-year-old paralegal, and it's very difficult to find someone that would hire me. The group alleged the state was required to use the federal money. But Circuit Judge J. Lane Smith disagreed. Ruling last week, DeSantis was within rights to withdraw early. He also questioned how claimants would be paid retroactively. His entire ruling, the, the premise that he set out, is 100% politicized. It was frustrating for Vanessa Brito, who helped organize the lawsuit. So we want to try to give him a chance to do the right thing. Brito has helped raise nearly 30 grand to support future legal challenges, which she said are coming. Attorneys planning to file a motion this week calling on the judge to reconsider his ruling. And if that doesn't work, an appeal in district court is next. I want to see how many times they can really turn their back on people. State officials, however, have applauded the circuit court's verdict. DEO saying in a statement it was, quote, the right decision legally and is proven to increase employment and workforce participation. Yep, how about you, bud? Uh, two grilled cheese. Two grilled cheese, all right. Critics question whether that's true. Even as the state's economy recovers, unemployment is below the national average, and Florida has seen 15 consecutive months of job growth. Attorneys expect to file the motion to reconsider either Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And again, if things don't go their way, the appeal will come next. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.